Hey guys, it's Brody, and today I'm going to show you how to recognize, solve, and execute the EPIRM quickly and easily. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll see all of my new tutorials as soon as they come out. Let's get started. So one of the biggest issues that people have with EPIRMs is that they're really difficult to recognize, and once you know what to do, that's not really the case. So the first thing I want you to notice is that there aren't any blocks anywhere on the top layer. And that's one of the things that makes EPIRMs easy to recognize. The only other PLLs that don't have any blocks are things like the HPIRM and the ZPIRM. And those are very regular and the corners are all solved relative to each other. And that's just not the case with the EPIRM, which makes it stand out a lot. In fact, you also have your diagonal corners which means that it's the only PLL where you both have no blocks and opposites with all of your corners. And that's a really good way to recognize it. The next thing that's kind of difficult is figuring out what angle to do it from because it's quite similar from all angles. But if you do it from the wrong angle, then you're not going to get a solved cube. You're going to get an H prime. So how do you spot the right angle? Well, if you look at this corner compared to this corner, those two stickers from any angle will be the same color. But in some cases, like here, you have blue, blue, and then green, you will have opposites. But in some other cases, like here, you have red, red, and red, they will all be matching. And when you have those going vertically, then you know you have the right angle. So if I do the EPIRM from this angle, it will solve the cube. So that's how you recognize the right angle. You want your corners to match with the edge in between them, and you want the matching ones to be going vertically. So once you have that, here's the algorithm. So you start off with an X prime, which puts your top face on the front, and then you do this algorithm. R, U prime, R prime, D, R, U, R prime, D prime, R, U, R prime, D, R, U prime, R prime, D prime. That may seem like a really long algorithm, but there's a really nice way of breaking it down. If you look at the algorithm, you'll see that it's just four times doing a three move trigger and then some sort of D move. So first with the D moves, it alternates between D and D prime. Always D first and then D prime. And for the three move triggers, first it's R U prime R prime, then R U R prime, then R U R prime again, and then R U prime R prime. So once again, R U prime R prime D, R U R prime D prime, R U R prime D R U prime R prime D prime. Because you have these D and D prime moves going back and forth, it's really important to be able to do this D prime push in the middle of your alg because doing that will make this E perm a lot faster. So the execution for it goes like this. And your goal throughout this entire alg is to not regrip at all. And using the execution I'm going to show, that is quite easy. So you start with your R U prime R prime, and then you do your first D R U R prime. Then you do your D prime push R U R prime D, and then R U prime R prime, and then your D prime push again. Using that execution, I've been able to get, I think like 0.9 on the E perm, which is pretty good. And some people have gotten it ridiculously fast, like 0.7 something, I think, which is 20 something TPS, it's ridiculous. And you should be able to get it pretty fast as well once you practice the execution. So that's how you solve the EPIRM. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a wonderful day.